Okay, we're going to go ahead and get ready to review trimester two. So let's get started. Make sure you have whiteboards, markers, and erasers out. And here we go. The first thing I want us to take a look at is let's say we have the digits three, six, and five. I would like you to take those digits and arrange them so that you can make the largest number possible. So move them around, use all three of them, and make the largest number possible. Okay, you should be done with that. And by making the largest number possible, you should have made 653. That's the largest number you can make with those three digits. Now I want you to do the same thing again, and this time make the smallest number you can make with the digits three, six, and five. Okay, by now you're done, and you made the number 356. Okay, so good, you're doing a great job. And let's try another one. Now we have the numbers eight, two, and seven. Go ahead and make the largest number possible with those three digits. You should have made 872. Now take the same three digits and arrange them so you make the smallest number possible. So I'm sure you made the number 200 78. Good. I'm sure that was really easy for you. Okay, let's take a look at another concept. Okay, let's look at this. Um, I'm going to do number one so you can understand what I want you to do for two and three. We're going to look at number one, 40 plus three plus 500, and we're going to compare it to 398. I want you to tell me out of those two numbers, which one has the greatest value. So write the one with the greatest value on your board. The one with the greatest value is this one because there's five in the hundreds place. This one only has three in the hundreds place. So this one is the correct answer, okay? So now let's look at number two. I want you to look at 476 and compare it to 60 plus nine plus 100. Which one has the largest value? Write that answer on your whiteboard. Okay, so I'm sure you wrote down 476. That one has 400s, while this one only has 100. So it's very easy to determine which one has the greater value. Go ahead and do the same thing for the last problem. 80 plus nine plus 700 compared to 901. Write down the answer on your board, which one has the greater value. Okay, I'm sure you circled 901. This one has 900s, while this one only has 700. Let's take a look at another concept. This is when we're looking at a number and determining what's 100 more, and what's 100 less? 100 more, 100 less, okay? So, just by hearing that 100 more, 100 less, we have to just look at the number in the hundreds place. So, this is 597, 100 more would be 697. 100 less is 497. That's how easy this one is. Let's take a look at the next one, 392. And we have a three in the hundreds place. That's the number that's going to change. So when you think of 392, what's 100 more? Four hundred ninety-two. What's 100 less than 392? 290. Two. Very easy if you understand place value. Let's take a couple more just like that. Here we go, 217. Write down what's 100 more and what's 100 less. 
100 more is 317, and 100 less is 117. Only the two changed. It went up and it went down. Do the same thing for 326. What's 100 more and what's 100 less? 100 more is 426. 100 less is 226. Remember that if you're watching this at home, you can always pause the video to solve the problem and then continue once you have your answer. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna go ahead and look at each of these numbers and we are gonna write them down and I want you to write them in expanded form. That's when you pull them apart in expanded form. Go ahead and do that now. I'll give you a minute to do all three of these because by this time you know how to do it. Do all three. Okay, I paused the video, I'm unpausing it. Now, this is the answer for the first one. 300 plus 90 plus two. 457 is 400 plus 50 plus seven. 638 is 600 plus 30 plus eight. That's expanded form and you're all doing a great job with it. Let's do one more. For this one, we are going to count by tens. We're gonna count by tens. So if I'm at 720, this is the number that's gonna change when it's 10 more. 720, 730, 740, 750. Okay, go ahead and do the next one by yourself. 839, count by tens. All right, this is what you should have written down. 839, 849, 859, and 869. The next one is tricky. Be careful because you're going to go into the next hundred. So 847, keep going, adding 10. This is what you were supposed to do. 497, 507, 517. This was the tricky part right here because you were going into the next 100. Okay, that was a small review of our unit test. So I know you're gonna do a great job. We'll keep practicing every day.